who doesn't want to earn an extra coin while still in school? Who doesn't want to generate income while still in school? Absolutely no one. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kate. I'm so excited, so excited to do another episode on entrepreneurship series. So it's the second episode uh, on entrepreneurship series. This is a series where we are going to talk about everything on business. Everything and anything concerning business. If you're with me in this series, perhaps you watched my previous videos and you liked them, you've seen them, assist you kindly hit on that subscription subscription button and give a thumbs up to my video. Let's go. I'm going to talk about some of the ways, some of the businesses one can do while still in college to generate an income. Of course, we know students while in school are always broke. Like, literary broke literary 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 okay they are always broke not unless they get finances from their guardians or parents so in this topic i'll be glad very glad to share with you some of the business ideas someone can always start while in college with us with small amount of money or basically with, without any any cash but perhaps make money at the end of it i'm going to give you these tips to assist you in making an extra coin at the end of the day and tell, enable you survive too so the first one that i'm going to talk about is cooking mm, this one doesn't have to be done often you can always choose to do maybe on weekends, so that is Saturday and Sundays. Uh, there are those students, there are universities or colleges that are not allowed to cook, in, to do cooking inside the hostels. So this one, most it's an opportunity, an amazing opportunity for those students in those universities. You can always decide, for those who are staying outside the campus or the college, can always choose to cook they can always choose to cook from their homes then uh, arrange or uh, arrange on sorry arrange on how the food is going to reach to the students in the hostels that one the only cost that you may need perhaps in this means business is maybe the costs on on the ingredients um, on the and maybe the packaging materials but no any other coin that maybe you're going to inquire to incur because the place you're going to use it's your house whatever you're going to use as in to cook the uten the equipment you're going to use in cooking they are also your your own property so absolutely there is there is no any other cost you're going to incur apart from the ingredients and the packaging costs are we good from there? That one is a business idea that you can always start with a minimal amount of capital, perhaps a thousand, and you're going and you're good to go. And the second idea that I'm going to talk about is being a waitress or a bartender. Mm, I haven't done this one, haven't tried, but of course I know it's a good business idea. It's an reason since it is your skills your availability your extra time it's all that is needed in them your availability your free time it's all that is being required in this business you can always choose to do a research on maybe good restaurants a place where you think can accommodate you you can be comfortable can create a conducive environment for you has good pay got good customers got good quality and they have a vacancy you cannot go to those places ask for the for for the jobs for the um, it's not necessary that you work full time because it, i understand they no, normally have some shifts and all, um, you can always arrange with them to give you maybe a night shift maybe a half a day shift an afternoon shift a morning shift depending on your classes or your daily routines they can always give you those services then they when they give you perhaps if it's a busy place if it's a 
good place a good restaurant where business is booming like they have they got many customers they got clients every now and then moving in and out you are good to yani i promise you that you are going to make money out of that also you can always make money from your the salary that i think going to give you and also from the tips you're going to get when you serve your clients well is that well elaborated the third idea the third idea which is a very amazing idea a very amazing idea is being a beauty provider beauty provider yeah makeup artist let me call it just like that a makeup artist as you noticed many campus students or college students always want to look good even if they are broke they just want to look beautifully broke which is not bad of course you can always choose to be that one makeup artist that does simple makeup or even nice makeup to them and perhaps they look nice at a fee a small fee if you are you if you got perfect skills on makeup because that thing i uh, that thing i believe requires skills not everybody can just do makeup <laughs> that thing um, deserves skills requires skills if you go to skills to just do nice makeup on people you can always work on it improve on it then from there you can always uh, start to get maybe DMs, inquiries, maybe appointments with people to do them, makeup. Yani, you can always do them in your, in your from your hostels. You don't want to, you don't have to incur any cost to begin that one. Apart from the money, you, the amount of money you want to want to buy the cosmetic kits, the eyelashes, hairdressing equipments like combs what else lipsticks eyebrows pencils and all the, oh, the cosmetic kit yes that one that perhaps is only what you want to in order to begin that business and at the end of it you're going to make money you can always also expand your services if they are well your clients if you are well, they are well and they feel good that they feel good after your services they can always refer you you can good customer they can always refer their their friends even in weddings they can always call you for their brides for their bridesmaids for their moms to do the makeup to do makeup on them it's that simple if you got the skills don't sit on them don't feel ashamed of your skills don't feel intimidated because of your skills or rather don't feel like you don't have time there is always time that time you always sit down chit chat a b c d hmm. sacrifice that time do an extra cash and the fourth idea that i'm going to talk about is photography photography um stroke videography oh as long as you got computer skills the comp skills i think these ones are good to go in f uh, photography you find like if you got the skills to capture nice pictures nice photos uh your business is going to attract a lot of people a lot of people a lot of clients and that is money and that is money so and also you in the sector of videos okay if you got also good editing skills good editing skills will also always attract nice customers nice people who want to promote your business so uh, also a nice camera i think a nice camera you can only source a camera from maybe you found your guardians your parents or any other partner that wants to um, raise that can buy your idea and take it positively and design to assist you they can always buy you good cameras that will assist you give or produce quality work Mm, then another the another business idea the fifth one i guess yes the fifth idea i've always and i've always again and again talked about this one in my previous videos like because probably i think it's because i've had a, i've had a hand on it i've done that business for quite a while 
of cloth selling that is mitumba basically mitumba mitumba is a very nice business idea you can always choose to look for places where you can always you can always source cheap and quality clothes like in open air markets you can't lack the last stock is it yes the last stock that always is being cleared at 20 bob 30 bob 50 bob 100 bob even you can always go pick pick those clothes at a cheaper price and go sell to your friends back in campus they at maybe a higher price 200 500 300 depending, depending on the quality of the clothes and that one I don't I don't think if you can always go wrong with them. I think I've exhausted um, my business ideas today for this episode. Let's let me see you on the next episode talking about other business ideas. Please if you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly do me a favor and subscribe. Please, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up.